Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but here I am back again with an IKEA clothing video. And in this video, we are gonna make an IKEA bucket head. Let's go. For this project, I took a template, some sewing gear, and of course, some IKEA bags. I got the template from The Essentials Club, and I'll link it in the description below. I started off with cutting out the template. The bucket hat needs two circle tops. I pinned it down to the bag material and traced the circle using a compass. For the hatband piece, I pinned the template on a fold. This results in a piece that'll be twice the size eventually. As you can see, it folds out into a bigger piece. We'll need four of these pieces in total. The same goes for the brim piece. Again, it is pinned on the fold, and we'll need four of these as well. And here are all the pieces cut out. Two top circles, four headband pieces, and four brim pieces. A little disclaimer though, I didn't use all the parts, and you'll see why later in the video. To get the IKEA branding on the hat, I took a bag and stripped off the handle. I had some of it laying around from my hoodie and fanny pack project, but you can just undo the stitches on the bag to get them off. The headband pieces will be sewn together on both ends, so I pinned them together for the sewing machine. The same goes for the brim pieces. To match the IKEA colors, I am using yellow thread to sew. Using the sewing machine, I sew all ends together.
I cut off the excess thread and were left with four pieces, two headbands and two brims. The headband pieces are sewn to the top circles. Make sure to put the shorter edge down and the seams outward like so. Pinning this down was a bit of a pain in the pooper, but I got it done eventually. As you can see, I did this twice, hence the need of so many cutouts. The idea is to make two identical bucket hats, as I am doing now, and put them together to create a seamless bucket hat. Although the idea works, in practice it didn't really work because the material was way too thick. After showing, you can see the shape coming together nicely. To attach the brim, the hat needs to be on its top, with the seams facing inward, so the niceness is facing outward. The brim piece slides over it with the short edge up top, so it matches the edges of the hat. After pinning the brim in place, I sewed it all together. You can really see the overall shape coming together now. This is the initial idea. Having one hat with the pretty side up and one hat with the pretty side down you should get a nice seamless hat. To make the outer edge look better, I folded it over slightly and sewed over it. Then I pin the IKEA strip in place ready for sewing. To stop the edges from fraying, I slightly melted the ends with a lighter.
At this point in time, I struggled to get the hats together because the material was just way too thick and not flexible at all. As you can see, the edges don't really line up. So eventually I ditched the seamless idea and this left me with a finished, although not seamless, bucket hat. Well, there you have it, an IKEA bucket hat. It didn't really turn out how I wanted it to be, but still looks like a bucket hat, so I'm happy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any feedback, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.